Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grognards of all ages, welcome to YouTube. My name is C Raptor. Today, I'm going to share with you guys a fun experience that I recently had on Twitch. While I was streaming Hell at Loose a few weeks back, I decided to try the commander role for the very first time. It's something I've been debating off and on for a while because I I finally feel comfortable enough in my understanding of the basics of the game mechanics, garrison placement, offense, defense, all of that stuff that, that I feel like, you know, it's time. I really need to do this. And doing it on camera would just provide a more entertaining experience if you're down to be a total train wreck, right? <laughs> so let's dive in. I'm trying to think, should I try command for my next game? I'm thinking, I'm thinking about trying command. I've never done it. I'm thinking about trying command. What do you think, Classic? I know you've done it. Over there. Level 10. You've done a lot of command then, Classic. Goodness gracious. I'm like level like two. Level two command. <laughs> it feels like it would be stressful. Let's try it. After spending a bit looking through the menu of stuff that I can spawn and, and order into the battlefield and kind of familiarizing myself with where to find what, my chat suggests that I send my first supply drop to our kind of home cap, as it were, up at Roar River Crossing. I took that advice. I decided that was a good idea. I could have done this with a supply truck as well, but this saved a little bit of hassle and time and allowed one of my squads that was spawning all that into the map to, to get the garrison up as they move towards the front. So easy. All right. I'm going to go grab this supply truck and build some garrisons of my own. All right, last point, Gary's up. Squads, make sure, especially in the early going, that you've got supply guys in your squads. Let's get down some garrisons on the front edge of that blue line before we push in. Thank you much. That's what that supply drop was for. All right, let's look at this for a minute. Uh, I want a garrison probably here and here. Uh, yeah, we are very slow getting off of the point here. Okay, we're going to need... Uh, My squad's putting up nodes for you. Thank you. My second supply drop goes up on top of Hill 400 itself. Given that we're going to be attacking Flat Pits first, and then hopefully Bergstein Church later, this seems like a really good option for a red zone garrison, right? I'm about three to 400 meters south of Flat Pits, far enough that we should be able to get spawn waves off of it, but I'm only maybe 200 meters, 250 meters from Bergstein, so that's really a good place for uh, offensive jump off later once we take Flat Pits. Thank you for the nodes. If we can get anybody else to put some nodes down, let me know. I can drop you some supplies or get you a supply truck, whatever you need. Somebody else know the squad lead? Try to generate some interest with one of your engineers so you can drop them a truck. Yes, please. More resources, the more stuff you guys get. Now, looking at the map, I knew I was going to struggle to take a supply truck uh, up to the northern end of the G line and get garrisons up there. It just wasn't. Wasn't likely to happen there. I'm going to run into enemy troops advancing on Eschelsweg. My first garrison out of the supply truck then is going to go north of the main crossroads that are just east of Hill 400, somewhere in about mm, G5 or so. I felt like that was about as far as I could reasonably go without getting shot at. I mean, hopefully. Now right here, I want to pause and highlight something. This game is only eight minutes old. We have four garrisons on the board, only one of which I built as the commander. Yes, I dropped airdrop supplies for two of them, but my squad leaders still stopped and put them up. This is absolutely critical to any game of Hell Let Loose you play as a squad leader. Every single person in the game who has a pocket watch is responsible for building or potentially replacing any garrison on the board. Because my team is functioning and playing as a team, we already have three potential axes of advance to attack flak pits from.
My third supply drop is going to go to the extreme northwest of Flak Pits, and I put in a call to my recon squad to build us a garrison up there once they're in position. Dog, if you get the chance, I drop some supplies in E3. If you get the chance. Copy. My team has done a great job so far of putting down garrisons that we can use for both offense and defense, despite surrendering that mid-cap early. As the commander, though, I look at it as my responsibility to think strategically. I have to be looking ahead, thinking about the future. If we take flak pits, then what? I have to be looking at the map and envisioning what our next attack is going to look like. The Hill 400 garrison that we put down earlier is going to be a great place to start any attack against Bergstein Church from. But I also am going to drive down and build a red zone garrison well away from flak pits that will make an excellent offensive option once we are advancing on the next point. My fourth supply drop I place well away from Bergstein, but also in a good spot for another backfield garrison that will irritate the opposing team and be difficult for them to hunt down in the terrain where those supplies are dropping. If I'm honest, I probably should have opted for the fields just south of there. There's a little trench network that would have been a good spot, um, kind of on top of a ridge there, but uh, I put them a little too far north. With the early logistics taken care of, I can take a breather, check in with my squad leaders to see how the attack on flag pits is going. Do they need a bombing run? Artillery support? What is it they need from me to help them get the job done? All right, let's look at the map. At the moment, guys, I'm concentrated on logistics. If anybody if you want me, if you need me to bombing run something, please give me an idea. Throw me some marks. Let me know what you need. If you want, put a uh, maybe a scout plane right over flak pits from north to south or south Love to north. It. Just give us an idea of where they're set up at. Uh, if you could put a uh, supply truck at mid middle node, I'll drive it out. Copy that. So. Supply truck inbound, recon plane on order. Thank you for the reminder about recon. I'd forgotten. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to get me a half track. Damn it, I gotta go move that friggin'. Actually, that's not terrible if I drive it right. Actually, no, that's pretty awful. <laughs> Let's spawn him up north. As we're getting closer to clack, flak pits, one of my squad leaders calls in and wants to build a garrison nearly on top of the cap circle. He's probably only 50 meters away from flak pits when he's like, drop me some supplies. Um... And uh, I have to remind him that and it was a red zone garrison, any troops within 100 meters are going to lock that out. So that is not a good idea. Not an efficient use of supplies. Uh, command, can you drop supplies on my location? I can set up a garrison here. Uh, it's, it's way too close. It's, 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 it's way too close. Too, okay. You're too close to flak pits. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, you're like, if I drop it there, they've got to have a Gary in that region. Okay, okay. Give me a sec to relocate. If you've got a supply guy in your squad, have him ready, prepped and ready to build a Gary near flak pits. I'll get a supply drop in that area as soon as I can. Nope, they're defending. Keep the pressure up. All right, we took out the OP, the garrison, and everything on this hill. You want me to, should I bomb it? I can bomb. I can throw a bombing run in. As I said, no. For, uh... I'm talking about flak pits. You could? Let me see. I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard. we got a lot of guys in all directions. I say let us just take it. Okay. I'm game. We've got the bodies. Uh, Eshel Swag, they're flipping. The okay, they're def we're... Okay, we're defending for the moment. Trying to drive with the map up is a pain in the ass. All right, I built a Gary on your supplies that were in the river. Okay, it's thank you. Not ideal. But it's at the bottom of the hill. It's fine. It's hidden back there. That's the key. Yeah, I'd dump a bombing run in there, but I don't think it would do much. Yeah, get ready for a bombing strike. I think you're going to need to do it. It's it's pretty... Okay. It's a tough nut. Try to maybe angle it southeast to northwest. Let's 
trying to dodge all the blueberries. Good luck. Enemy Stuart on my marker, on D marker. Command, hold that bombing run. We're, we're Copy. moving on and out. Okay. I have it queued up. Just let me know. Yeah, yeah. Just just hold on a second. We're losing Astral Swag, so this push needs to work. We need some... Otherwise, we're going to... Need some guys on D. Did you already reinforce it? I have not. There's no one in the point, so oh, there's yeah. no... You can, you can still... Uh... Throw, throw the airstrike down. We need to do it. Okay. We're not here making any progress agree, here. agree, agree. All right, guys, uh, check your maps. It's going to come in southeast, south, southwest to northeast across the middle of flak pits. Advise your squad. Stay back. Danger close. Yep, do it. Same. Everyone pop your smokes. We're going to have to push right after this. Watch the bombing strike. It's coming in. It's coming in. Oh, everybody's in the point. Let's go. Good call on that, guys. Now, my next supply drop, I save for post fush into flak pits. In truth, I probably should have dropped the supplies about the same time I called in this airstrike, but it works nonetheless. With my squad leads telling me they needed the bombing support, we managed to flip the middle cap in a little less than 20 minutes. Okay. I'm dropping some supplies, but if you've got a supply guy in your squad, get ready to put down a Gary. You've got one offensive Gary in E7 if you want to redeploy. I'm going to bring forward a half track as well. And Dog Squad, you've got supplies in C5. If you wouldn't mind trying to put a Gary around over there, I'd be appreciative. Copy. Yep. Having secured the middle of the board and with a nice defensive garrison down at Flak Pits, I redeploy the northern spawn to grab the half track that I spawned there earlier. Do you want an Alpha to push or defend for now? Come in. Given your position, I'd say push. All right, we got already coming in on our point. Okay. Do me a favor, Charlie Squad. Stay back with Golf for a little bit and help defend and clean up at Flak. Roger that. Thank you kindly. Come in. I have this black guy with me. We're going to try to get you a good attack and carry. Appreciate you. And I've got an alternate one down south already. Let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a half track up and try and get you another axis. Uh, he only drops fifty, right? I need hundred. Need fifty on the blue side, though. If you build it on the blue side of the line, you're good. It's up. It's up. We're good. Thank you very kindly. Be advised, this garrison is a little warm. Yeah, that Gary's directly on their line of advance from uh, from church up to Flax, so it's going to see a lot of use. Command, can we get some of the back garrisons removed so I can place this one and see? Absolutely, one moment. There's a, there's a tank in so now, here's a lesson on a mistake I made, right? I should have removed this random garrison in G8 earlier when I drove by it, rather than being forced to expend manpower here to blow it up later. It says a cooldown. You want to hit that? It like doubles or increases your resource node production. Got it. Just found it. Eventually, there you go. Whenever that's up, press it. Hit it. There's a tank on my mark here. It's moving in towards the back line. Of the if you need, uh, if you need extra resources of something specifically, go under each one. If it's gas, it'll say manpower munitions. You're gonna convert. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. yeah, 100 gas for 60 of the other. The supply drop in A7 is kind of suboptimal. I'm dropping it in plain view of the Southern Allied Headquarters spawn. I should have put it well south, probably along the bottom edge of the map in like B8 or something, but this is where it ends up. Good job at church, guys. Keep up the pressure limit if you need anything. Copy. Golf, Charlie, how are we looking on defense? Are you guys comfortable? 
Yeah, uh, got some scattered in there in the woods there. We're trying to them okay, they are capping, so let me know if you need more help. All right, Ryder, I'm dead, so hang on. We're good on flag. We're good on flag. Copy that. Just, it's a heavy, it's a heavy defensive battle on the hill right next to it. Dog squad, I've got some more supplies in Alpha Seven. If we finish capping Church, I'd, I'd love you put a Gary back there for me. You said Alpha Seven? Yes, sir. Should be on your map. All right, Flak's gonna start getting pressed. Copy. Pretty hard here in a sec. It's all good. Just hold us as best you can. We're on the attack. We got him. Yeah, it looks like church is ours. All right, good. Okay, you can cancel that uh that bombing run request. Copy that. All right, let's hold church, clean it up a bit, get a garrison down. Everybody, kind of hold your positions. Don't advance just yet. I'm in an awkward position right here, a good position, but awkward nonetheless. My team has managed to capture Bergstein Church so quickly that I haven't had time to plan or position any logistics for this final push on the last capture point. The half-track I'm in is a great start, but we're going to need more than this. Remember, half-tracks have a 60-second spawn wave time rather than the 40 seconds you get off of garrisons. So I asked them to like hold where they are so we don't give up the ground we just earned while we get our logistics in order, get some spawn points down on the board, and then get ready for a final push. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get your garrison up, Commander. I'm pinned down. Okay, no worries. It was, it was, we were trying for it. Okay, hold on a minute. Why don't we just... You know what? I'm just going to back this thing straight up and park it right here. Garrison up at Bergstein. Thank you. I don't know if you noticed it, but when you manually uh, delete the spawns, it takes resources to do. So you may want to get in a truck and just manually go delete them yourselves or have somebody do it for you. In a tight game with resources, it, it gets real expensive to start. Gotcha. I points. think we're okay. No, you're fine here in this game, but just something to be aware of. Alpha's pushing a farm. All right, I've got a half track parked along the southern border. Fox Trot, I see you're going to get that Gary in D, D7 for me. Roger that. Let me take a look at farm here. I do start to slack off on the supply drops here at the end of the game as kind of our offensive tempo increases, but I'm still a big believer in using that ability every time it's up just to scatter supplies all over the battlefield. With our logistics well positioned for an assault on that last capture zone, I finally bust out my binoculars to try and do what players always seem to think the commander should be doing regularly, and that is surveying the situation up at the front lines. Oh, I couldn't get out of there. Okay, I would never, I would never have gotten out of there, didn't matter what I wanted to do. Let's move up here. Hey, Command, Fox Scott's got a pretty good leeway into the point here. We're going to push for it. Copy that. Yeah, maybe throw up a I'm scout I'm looking around. Too. Yeah, maybe I hear a tank. A, uh, recon. Over yeah, throw recon degree. plane up. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Recon Between going in. Some point would be appreciated. Going in. Somebody finally found me. Spawning in. I'm bombing the point. Check your maps. This bombing run was probably a little early. We don't have anyone close at hand to be able to get back on the cap if I miss the garrison that's in there. We know there's a garrison there, but I can't see it, right? 
I get lucky, though. I do manage to bomb that garrison off the board, and now the enemy team is going to have to run from their headquarters to defend this point unless they can get a garrison down very, very quickly. Garrison down. Garrison down on Strucken. Push in if you can. I know it's tough. I'm going to put an airhead down tank, in A7. Tank marker accurate. Tank marker accurate. Yep. And finally, with the game kind of winding down here, I actually uh, get into the action a little bit and get to use uh, get to use my uh, my MP40 here for some good work. There's guys over here, Sea Raptor. Yeah, I just took down an OP. Yeah, Found I just took you. down an OP. I just killed two guys running off from you. Probably it. I got another one. OP out here. Yep, they're still out there in that tree line, so keep looking. They're still out there in that tree line. Keep looking for them. Looks like GG. Good game, boys. Thank you, everyone, for making my first Commander game such a smooth experience. See? So you had it all the time, man. All good. Yeah. I tell you what's encouraging. It makes, it makes, me, want to, makes me want to do it again. <laughs> that was a good game. That was a good game. I feel good about my life. I feel good about my command potential. That's right. There it is. That's right. Dick Winters would be proud. <laughs> Dick Winters would be proud. I tell you, two things I think really stick out to me in that game. One is I had pretty good communication with at least three to five of my squad leaders, including one of my recon squads, which makes a huge, a huge impact. Um, the other is the one thing that I noticed a while back that I don't see a lot of commanders doing that I tried to do, and I didn't do as good a job as I should. I should get me a little... A uh, friggin' timer, but um, I, um, I, I, you know, you've got the supply drop available every two minutes, and Classic said it in chat. If you're not using that every two minutes when it's available, in my mind, you are, you are not doing your job. Um, because like that should be absolutely like every single time you should be dropping supplies. The more supplies you have sitting on the field waiting for your squad leaders. The more likely they are, the more the fewer excuses you leave them to go. Well, I can't build a garrison. I'm a supply guy, dude. There's supplies everywhere. Friggin' find a stack and build a garrison, right? So, um, yeah, I'm 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 pretty happy with that. That wasn't nearly as as kind of um, nerve wracking as I expected it to be. That was fun. That was fun.